Hi everyone! If you haven't watched my previous videos, I'm Kate and I'm a junior research assistant at Aire Lab. Today the topic is partnership. Aire Lab is open for collaboration. It cooperates with many companies and today I'd like to share you the information about one of such companies. Ladies and gentlemen, Drone Employee. This organization helps companies hire drones. Drone Employee is a software for business owners who want to use drones to film their clients, monitor their facility or deliver goods. They give fully autonomy to the drone. No need for pilots because the drone flies itself. But even more so, the drone is economically autonomous as well. It can safely accept payment from a client, create contracts with partners, and it can even order a repair from a service company. Drone Employee team uses Ethereum smart contracts to facilitate the process of creating autonomous drone bases. So today we have an opportunity to ask a couple of questions to the Chief Marketing Officer of Drone Employee. Vitaly, hello. Thank you for your time. So there is enough information in the internet of what Drone Employee has already reached. But uh, what is your team doing right now? Hello, Catherine. Um, yeah, thank you for inviting me and I'm always willing to share information about Drone Employee, especially with our partners. Um, so Drone Employee is a software company that helps business owners hire drones. For, it could be for tasks like filming, inspections and even delivery. And our vision is that it should be as easy as possible for the business owner to start using a drone. Preferably as easy as hiring a human employee. You just give a task to the human and then he or she delivers the value. So that's, that's what vision is for drone employee. And um, to achieve that, we believe that there are two things unnecessary. First, the drone should fly completely on its own. So business owner shouldn't hire additional pilots to manage a drone or things like that. The drone should be able to take off and fly completely on its own. Um, but second thing, and probably even more important, is economic autonomy. So the drone should be able to organize the mission uh, completely on its own. For example, approve the route with the regulator, then buy insurance for the, pl for the flights, check the meteor conditions and um, see if the weather allows to fly right now. Um, maybe buy additional software for analysis if it's a ins complex inspection mission or if it's a delivery then transact with an autonomous landing station where the delivery is getting dropped. So all those things uh, um, we built in, in drone employee software and that is what we do. Vitaly, unveil us the secret. How many orders are you planning to receive? What demand are you expecting? Well, the drone market is pretty nascent right now and all forecasts are, are just assumptions on my opinion. Uh, I would say currently the drone market depends a lot on licensed drone pilots and um, in US for example it's part 107 and uh, those licensed drone pilots are the moving force for uh, commercial drone industry right now. But I personally believe that this is a short-term approach and my manual flights will become irrelevant as soon as autonomous technology matures. Um, but this doesn't actually mean that drone pilots will lose their jobs or anything like that. Actually, I think that um, they will be the major driving force for creation of a network of autonomous drone stations. And this is something that drone employee software allows to create. And this is just a natural, natural step um, and the market will evolve as the pilots um, will have to evolve as well. Um, so those uh, licensed pilots will actually convert to um, um, drone business owners who will run a fleet of drones and offer drone services to their local community. Think of it like a taxi park right now but with a fleet of autonomous drones. Um, well, if you want some numbers, in US, for example, there are 50,000 
uh, licensed drone pilots right now. So it's 50,000 drone businesses already. And by 2021, um, FAA expects there will be half a million drone businesses. Each of, each of them will be running a drone fleet. Uh, so they will, th those companies will need tools to manage and automate their um, autonomous drone stations. And this is where a drone employee could help them. How have you managed the problem of drones' economic autonomy? Well, supply chain of a drone service is pretty complex and that is why achieving economic autonomy for a drone is pretty hard. Um, there are a few sets of problems that we need to uh, overcome before the economic autonomy is achieved. And um, first is um, identification and verification of a drone. So how do we make sure that um, this particular drone that is in the air right now belongs to a legal company that is not doing anything prohibited and uh, is actually um, providing value to the society. And we believe that blockchain technology is actually ideal, ideal to solve this problem because uh, um, we could um, have an um, um, identity for a drone, essentially a, a digital license plate for a drone on let's say Ethereum blockchain and uh, anybody in the community will be able to verify the drone and nobody will be able to hack it. Um, the second set of problems is air traffic control. So um, there are a lot of varying um, characteristics um, on the drone flights, including meteo conditions um, and also topography data that needs to be stored, for example, um, for the city locations where there are a lot of high rises and the drone should be able to avoid those obstacles. Um, for that, we believe that IPFS network is an ideal solution where um, private and um, state uh, companies can actually um, share information all together about the topography and weather and anybody in the community will be able to um, get access to it and to ensure the safe and legal use of drones. Um, well, the third set of problems is communication. Uh, how do you make sure that communication between drones and humans happen fast and secure? Um, and for that, there is a protocol called Whisper. It's under development right now, but drone employee believes that this is something that uh, we could use um, in our product. And it is essentially a P2P protocol that allows um, drones to communicate directly without sending messages to any kind of central server. And uh, this ensures that um, messages will be sent fast and um, also securely. And finally, um, how do we create a framework so that human clients uh, could order a, an autonomous drone uh, without having to actually contact the, the owner of this drone. Um, and for that, uh, we use smart contract mechanism, which uh, allows to give tasks to an autonomous robot. In our case, it is a drone um, and guarantee that when uh, this contract is uh, created with a drone, that um, the drone will take off and goes, delivers the parameters in this contract um, accordingly. And the payment will go through only when those parameters will be achieved. So these allow us to guarantee that missions will be flo flown safely and also all the parameters that the clients want to achieve will be delivered in 100% of the cases. What is your interest uh, in using the technologies of AERA project? Why are you cooperating with us? So as I mentioned, uh, we use blockchain technology and some other decentralized technologies um, to solve a wide range of problems on the drone market. And um, smart contracts developed by AirLab, um, they lie um, as a foundation for drone employee products. Um, we we believe that Aerolab is the most advanced um, company that is working on robot autonomy. And even more so, Aerolab actually shares our vision for robot autonomy. And this is exactly the type of partner we need to build a global network of autonomous drone stations. 
What opportunities can you get in the future? What aims do you have now? What results will we see in the near future? Well, currently the drone market is pretty nascent and uh, our company is going through proof of concept stage. Um, we are working on a few pilot projects with um, companies of all sizes, from small businesses who want to use drones for uh, filming um, to corporate clients who want drone delivery and like, complex inspection missions. Uh, so in the next couple of months, we will do a pilot project in St. Petersburg for um, ITMO University, where um, the drones powered by drone employee software will deliver um, packages from one campus of a university to another campus. Um, this is um, uh, one of the first applications of drones for, for delivery missions, and we believe that um, this pilot project will be interested for our potential partners on a global scale. All that is left is to thank you for your time. Thank you for inviting me. I'm always willing to share information about Drone Employee. And I wanted to especially thank Aerolab for um, being our technology partner and helping us um, create the future we all want to live in.